Hey guys, so a few weeks back I had posted a poll on here on YouTube and on my Instagram asking if you guys would be interested in a bug out slash get home vehicle build. And uh, the response was pretty overwhelming and most people were like, yeah, let's, let's, I want to see that. Let's do it. So I went ahead and started getting things together uh, slowly but surely and I'm still in the process of getting things. Um, I'm not, I'm not done yet. Um, like most of you, I'm balling on a budget, especially in these, uh, in these times in this economy. So, uh, you know, each paycheck I buy a little bit here and there, so I'm not going broke buying a bunch of stuff at one time. So, uh, there's a few key things that this vehicle needed to have. And, uh, I didn't go out and buy anything fancy, so it's nothing, uh, crazy. Some of you will be using the vehicle that you have that's your primary vehicle. Others of you will have a spare vehicle that's, you know, not your d daily driver or not your, you know, your primary vehicle. Um, but it is something that you, you have to, uh, to purpose build, I guess. So what I have is something that I bought when I first moved out here to California and me and my wife both had cars and I have another car back in North Carolina that's, you know, a project and we didn't really have anything big enough for the family to do a lot of things, you know. Um, if we wanted to bring a cooler, then we're sacrificing back seat space and it's just a, a whole debacle. So uh, I picked up a super cheap uh, project vehicle and uh, just something to go to the beach and do whatever. And then I just kind of, kind of started thinking, you know, this would be a pretty cool uh, get home slash bug out vehicle. And when I say these two things, my purpose is going to be as a get home vehicle. Um, I don't really want to bug out uh, per se because I live on base. It's pretty secure. Um, if I'm going to be anywhere, it's going to be here. And if I'm out in town, my main sole purpose is going to be to get home to my family and my safe place, my safe space, safe place. You know what I'm saying? Um, so like I said, it had to have a few things. One big enough for the family Two, big enough to throw some extra gear in three, be four wheel drive and have a, you know, adequate amount of ground clearance and four be mechanically sound. And really that's the main gist of uh, the requirements for me. Um, sure, would I like to have a certain brand, you know, a newer vehicle? Of course. But those are the four really key things that, uh, that I needed. Something reliable, four-wheel drive with adequate ground clearance, uh, fit my family, and had room to throw some stuff in there. So let's check out what I got, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so here it is. It's a uh, 1997 Ford Expedition uh, Eddie Bauer 4x4. And uh, yeah, it's in pretty decent shape. I uh, haven't done much to it. All I did was put a, uh, a roof rack and a light bar. Sorry, it's, uh, it's just before Christmas. So depending on when this video releases, not, now you know about the time this video was recorded. So uh, pretty good shape. It was a one owner before I bought it. So uh, it was well maintained for the most part. Yeah, it's got a little bit of issues here and there, but as far as mechanics go, it, it runs absolutely fucking perfect and uh, I couldn't ask for more so let's uh, let's look on the inside so this is where you know you'll see a few little you know cosmetic issues and stuff so I mean there's a couple cracks and whatever in the seat and stuff uh, don't mind that stuff right there that's just my sunshade and some paperwork but I mean overall she's uh she's doing pretty all right it's where I mounted my uh, light bar switch and then I put some Bluetooth there where the cigarette outlet goes because you know I don't smoke that's gross and Bluetooth is very helpful because I don't plan to drop a bunch of money into an aftermarket stereo um it does have a sunroof that's pretty <laughs> snazzy huh um but yeah not really much to to gawk over in today's standards of vehicles but you know it's got power windows power locks all that gucci stuff so that's pretty cool um again you know for 25 year old leather it's gonna have some issues but floors and everything are pretty pretty legit uh nothing really crazy so i did add that but i'm not gonna go over that right now because that's gonna be another part of the video so eh. I'm watching myself through the phone my depth perception was off okay so just uh, wash this thing, so that's why there's water back there. <laughs> I sprayed the mat off. But I mean, I took the third row out. It does have, uh, you know, 
third row seating capability, but I'm never gonna use that because, well, my family's not that big and I have plans for this thing that I'm not gonna be running a third row. And uh, that is pretty much it, ladies and gents. Let's, uh, for as far as the outside and inside, let's look under the hood, you know. Check out the heart of this beast. Because you know it's so awesome. You know, one feature this does have that a lot of, well, not a lot, but some newer cars don't have is uh, it's got hood struts. You don't have to freaking mess with that prop rod bull crap. But uh, it's 5.4 Triton. You know, I'm not really a big Ford guy, but uh, this thing has ran freaking pretty awesome for me. So I got no complaints here. Uh, I tried to find a Tahoe or a Suburban, but I just couldn't find one uh, in my price range with the miles I want and the condition that I wanted. So went ahead and settled for the Expedition. First gen. Uh, this is the first year for the Expedition, actually. So I, uh, I'm i liking it. She's pretty legit. Uh, I got a lot of plans for it, as you guys are going to see in the videos to come. So uh, she's going to look... A little different uh not like totally different i'm gonna put a bunch of money into a 1997 uh but it's gonna be a little bit more capable than what it is now um right now it's pretty capable like i said it is four-wheel drive um electronic four-wheel drive at that also so i don't have to mess with that floor console crap so for 97 it's got a pretty decent amount of features that i wanted and uh excuse my messy garage but uh some new meaty tire let's i'll just let you peek in here some new meaty tires i got a plain old case over there that i'm gonna be uh introducing to y'all with some with some gear but uh yeah guys let me know what you think down in the comments and uh stay tuned for uh for part dose all right guys so that was my uh that's my get home vehicle and right now it's you know it's nothing crazy nothing impressive uh super stock it was like i said it was a one owner so the reason it's lasted so long and the reason it's so mechanically sound is because they didn't do anything to it so what am i going to do do stuff to it and hopefully i don't mess it up um, i'm really good about maintaining my vehicles and keeping them clean and you know doing all the tune-ups oil changes all that stuff and just keeping stuff you know in the shape that it should be in so I don't really foresee any issues in uh, that area. And I'm not going to be messing with the performance of the vehicle or anything like that. Um, just adding a few things to make it a little bit more functional and to give me, you know, a better ability to uh, maneuver over some terrain and have the essentials that I need in order to survive to get back home. Maybe, you know, I went on, you know, a trip with a couple of buddies and I'm a few hours out or I'm a stayed over or two states over and it might take me a day or two to get back home do I have the things that I need to get my butt back home to my family and help either defend or you know hold down our home front and uh, really that's what it's all about for me so for some of you you might need it as a bug out vehicle because you know you live in an apartment complex condo city whatever and you know your family has a farm you know a couple hours away and you need to bug out to get there because that's your family's plan hey if crap hits the fan i'm leaving this cesspool of a city or this you know industrial complex and i'm going to the farm because we have the ability to self sustain out there and you know make a better life if you know all else is lost so it, you're you're needs and uh and wants are going to vary from mine this is just what i feel i would need um with this build so stay tuned for part two um, we'll start going through what i'm adding and why i'm adding it and then you know we'll see uh we'll see how she turns out this will probably be about a three-part video so this is part one just introduction to what i got and where i'm kind of going with it so hope you guys enjoy if you like this video Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, comment, and uh, engage with the video. That way I know, you know what you guys are kind of looking for and, and the topics I need to hit in the follow-on videos and making sure that you know I'm giving you guys what you want to see. So uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Until next time, adios.